What's up guys, Metal Militia Gaming, back here for another video, and today is a, another, I guess, help video, um, since I, I built a little, uh, network attached storage, or NAS for short, and I'm just kind of, I just want to help people out in, like, the process of doing everything, you know, to get it up and running and optimized and all that stuff, so, in today's, Today's video, it's it's about um, it's about a Samsung uh, SSD eight Samsung eight forty Pro, uh, a little bit of an older one, but I only paid like what thirty bucks for it. It's a two fifty six gig, so I mean it's not too good, but it's decent. It's it's good enough, but um, I, I do recommend um. If you're going for the older, like, Samsung SSDs, I do recommend you get the, um, the Pros, because they're, uh, a lot better. Um, and you can still find those, which, I mean, you can go for the Evos, but the Pros are just a lot better. But anyway, enough about that. What I'm actually going to be talking to you guys about is, I I've looked through various things, you know, I was trying to do this, is updating the firmware on, you know, old, old, um, you know, old uh, SSDs like this, because the problem with Samsung Magician is, I don't have that plugged into my system right now, but here, hold on, let me get it plugged in real quick, I'll resume, okay, I've got it plugged in now, but anyway, the issue, um, the, the issue is, on um, Samsung Magician, you know, you know how you usually, you know, especially for newer ones, you know how you go to update when it tells you there's a firmware update and you do it right from here. Well, the problem with old, like, Samsung 8, 840 SSD, well, the latest version for the 840 is uh, DXM06B0Q. Uh, before I did this update, it was DXM04B0Q. Um, uh, but anyway, it'll just tell you that you're at the latest version, but it won't actually let you update or anything. Now, I don't know about older versions of Magician. I mean, maybe they'll let you update. But why would you want an older version of Magician? I just don't know why. But, so, anyway, here is the way on how to do it. Here's the proper way. So, I did it. I d wasted a lot of time, so you guys don't have to. So, here is the way. Um, I'll, I'll just... I wouldn't recommend skipping because I'm mainly going to go through dialogue because I already did it and I don't, you know, want to do it twice, but I'll, I'll let you guys know what kind of troubleshooting stuff I went to. So let's start right here at the Samsung website. So what you're going to do is you're just going to go over the Samsung website as you normally would, uh, go over to where it says support and go to where it says manuals and software, uh, and they'll say downloads, and then you click on computing. Uh, memory and storage, uh, tools and software, and then you can go through the different things. Uh, Samsung Magician for consumer SSDs. Uh, those are you know you're just your regular ones. You know it's it says it supports you know the 470, 750, 830, 840. Yeah, it does. I mean support that and read it, but it doesn't necessarily update them. But uh, there's the enterprise software for enterprise SSDs. So you're probably uh, most likely not going to need to download that. You're going to want the consu consumer one. Um, there's the data migration software. That's um, help users quickly, easily, safely migrate all the data. Yeah. So it's kind of like a uh, almost like the uh, like Western Digital's of Cronus. Uh, and then here's firmware. And also for NVMEs, remember if you get like an NVMe M.2 drive, uh, if Right now, if you get that, 970 Pro, 970 Evo, 970 Evo Plus, 960 Pro, 960 Evo, 950 Pro, uh, NVMe M.2s, make sure you download this driver so um, Samsung Magician can detect it and stuff. Um, then there's toolkits, and here's portable SSD software. That's important if you have the, um, the external ones, and then there's memory card. Uh, authentication utility but what you're gonna be looking for is firmware so this has all the firmwares for your you know your various drives like the uh, latest one being the 980 Pro and then if you go over here there's the ISO right there 
but in, in my case, like, say yours was, like, the, uh, 850 Pro, you, well, you're gonna go over to where it says, if you're on Mac, go over to where it says for Mac, of course, and download what it is for Mac, sorry for my finger in the way, um, but for, you know, for your normal Windows, just, just, uh, do the one that just says SATA SD 850 Pro, whatever one that you have, and then click download. Uh, so mine was the 840 Pro. So I click download on here, and then look, there's, that, there's the ISO name. Now, this one is a bit different from other ones, because the other ones are, uh, like, like, uh, named. Like here, if I can show you, go to my recycling bin since I was done doing that. Um, like their like their name, like this, like the eight, even like the um, the eight forty Evo. I, I try I tried to rename mine just to see if that worked, but didn't do anything. So just ignore that. But uh, like the eight forty Evo, like it's named like that. But the problem is when you download the one for the eight forty Pro. I don't know if these are for other ones too. But um, it it just has this. That's 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 all that you get. But what you want to do when you download this is you want to mount it. Like like you want to mount it. here. I'll mount it. Hold up. Uh, first let me have to I have to restore it. Um, go to downloads, and then you just double click on it, and then it'll be mounted. And when you go over to this PC, you'll see it. And then when you want to access it again, just double click on it. But go over to where it says ISO Linux. You're going to want BTD SK. You're going to want to copy that to your desktop. And then after that, th then you'll uh, move on to your next uh, course of action here. And I'll show you. Now, on the Samsung website, if you go down all the, if you go all the way down to the firmware installation guide, now if I click on that and go down, um, it tells you to use this program called unetbootin.github.io uh, or whatever. Don't use that. That's, that's a junk software. Uh, I tried, I tried using it and it didn't work for me. But instead, you want to use a software called Belena Etcher. So when you, when you download it from their website, this is what it's going to look like. So you're just going to click flash from file and then go over you know, go over to your, uh, where it says your desktop, and then where it says that, uh, BTDSK, you want to click on that, uh, hold on, where it says, where, where, where you have, wherever you have this, the BTDSK, you want to click on that, and then the rest, and then just click, uh, flash, and make sure you have a, um, hold up, let me get here, a, it has to be a, uh, USB, uh, because you have to use for the USB bootable, it has to be USB bootable. And now the problem is, you know, I went through all that, did this multiple times, and you know, just make sure it's formatted to uh, FAT32. It helps for compatibility reasons. Uh, I don't know, you know, if NTFS or XFAT works, but just do FAT32 just to be safe and sure. But anyway, this wasn't um, the only issue that I had to overcome. Um, you know, instead of using uh, I also tried Rufus. Uh, Rufus might work too. Uh, you, you could probably use that too, but just don't use the UNET button uh, for the Windows, what they recommend, because it, it doesn't work. At least in my case. So what you're going to you know, do is just put that on a flash drive, and then you know, just let it do its thing, and then keep the flash drive in there. And go when you go to your BIOS. Now here's here's the next issue that I had in my BIOS that I had to fix to to even get it going. Uh, here I will uh, resume when I get into my BIOS. Okay, so I'm now in my BIOS. So whatever uh, you know motherboard you might have, whether it's an you know an Asus, ASRock, Gigabyte, etc. etc. Whatever, um, they might. They might have it the same name, or they might have a different, um, they might have a different, you know, option for, in terms of the overriding setting. But in the case for Asus, the, like the, on the Asus, uh, ROG, Republic of Gamers one, it's called CSM, Compatibility Support Module. So that's kind of a little bit self-explanatory, you know, it says configure CSM compatible support module items to fully support the various graphics, bootable devices, that's keyword right there, 
an add-on devices for better compatibility. So I'm like, you know what, let me give this a shot, you know, just so I clicked on it and then I enabled it and it gives you an at least in my circumstance an extra option of uh, it's the same USB drive but it's just in like a general USB drive and you'll you'll know that's right because it'll actually boot into something and then it'll just boot like if you use Bolina Etcher and everything's right it'll just boot until you know where it says the Samsung and um, you know just click on the button it'll scan you know you'll click on any key and it'll scan and just make sure it has the drive correct and then you'll click uh, Y for yes and for no just click Y they'll ask you some other things and just keep clicking Y until it's all done and then th that should be the way that you do it and um, you know it might not be called uh, CSM or compatibility support module on the motherboard that you have but hopefully there should be an option of overriding or it should just let you in as as is so yeah uh, I hope you enjoyed this video uh, just a little help video just to kind of you know help people out because I found no information about this when I uh, did it so I like to put information out there for other people and I'll be working on this PlayStation 3 soon um, now, if I don't, I'll probably be posting this first, but anyway, I don't think that this is a, uh, capacitor problem. I think it might be bricked or something, because the slims don't have, like, the later slims don't have a capacitor problem, only the early ones. But anyway, that's for a different video. Um, that's the end for this video. You know, like, subscribe, whatever you want to do. I don't care. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video.